Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow Silence Boy as he disrupts the operations of a post office and has the police called on him. Buddy. Counting 2600 in cash. Nobody wants you counting cash, especially if it's not some measly $2,600. That's a paltry sum of money these days. It doesn't go very far anymore. So I'll just speed it up so you guys don't have to watch it so much. By the way, you've got some really shitty taste in jewelry. Well, since he is obviously going after post office again, I might as well display the clauses in poster 7 that he's most likely not aware of and can't read anyway because he's an illiterate frauditor. Or just has a limited ability to uh, read and understand it completely. Uh, yeah, I'm always out here. Let's see the respect our first... Our first amendment to film in public. Let's check it out. This is mopping. What are you doing? Filming you. Is there a problem? Yes. Why? Don't film me. I'm going to film you. Yeah, you can't do nothing about it, sir. Yeah, okay. You're a public employee. Yeah, 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 I hear. You think I don't know the laws in yeah, America? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. Oh, you're just a living example of the Dunning-Kruger effect. Just enough information to think that you know everything about it, but not enough to realize that you don't know everything about it. You sound stupid, though. You sound stupid. Look how you're acting, dude. Grown you man. You sound stupid. Grown man acting and... You sound stupid. Acting dumb in public. Whoa! A grown man doesn't go around harassing men who are at work. That takes the mentality of a man-child right there. You need your job, dude, so don't attempt nothing. Uh, shut up, dude. Shut up to me. Okay? Shut up to me. <laughs> Cry, baby. Oh, boy, that's real mature of you, telling a grown man like that he's a crybaby when all he wants to do is go about his job without further interference by a moron like you. <laughs> Can't do nothing about it. This is America, dude. Pardon me, sir, but I don't mean to interrupt your job. But here's what happens whenever you uh, call him out on his bullshit. She spit me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Oh, by the way, I didn't mean to call you sir. I know a lot of working men hate being called sir. And as far as you, Silas Boy, you need to get out of the working man's way and let him do his job. Can do nothing. It's a First Amendment to film all this, everything I want to. First Amendment. The First Amendment does not grant you absolute right to film in the post office. Even the freedom of speech is quite limited with the libel and slander laws that are on the books. You want to meet me outside? That's what you said? <laughs> so you see, this is people so uneducated. They don't like the camera. <laughs> nope, that's just the Dunning-Kruger effect running around in your mind. You have maybe read one or two paragraphs and think you know everything there is to know about the law. Sorry, folks, I keep mentioning the Dunning-Kruger effect. I will have a link in the description that will explain everything about that, and it applies to all the frauders I've ever seen on YouTube. But I'm going to keep on filming them. It doesn't matter. They could shake their head every time they want, and they can't do nothing about it.
You work here? Your employee is rude. Why is he trying to pick a fight with me? Your employee mopping the, the ground. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, I'm sure that man who's working his ass off challenged you to a fight for absolutely no reason, right? He's being rude to me. Oh. Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry? <gasps> you just go all hide behind there and do nothing about it. Huh? Yeah, your employee is trying to, he's telling me, let's go outside so I could fight you. What kind of stuff is that? He told me that I have it on video. Can I talk to you, sir? No, you could, you could talk to me inside. Can inside. You could talk to me in here inside. You, we could talk inside. Can I, I don't have to go outside. I said, can I look at the video? Why? You're you not going to. You just said that my employee. I'll show it to police. Of course you're not going to let her have the footage. I mean, it's going to just show that you were the antagonist, not him. Okay, then, well then call the police. Matter of fact, let's call the police. Okay? I don't need the police. That's I'll why I'm not calling. I'm about to call the police. Call them and they'll educate you. Okay. I could be here. <laughs> Is your profession, this style that you don't do direct nothing? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to call the police right now, okay? Call them, yeah. Okay. I'll be waiting. Tell them to bring me a Gatorade and some food while I wait. Why you silly moronic frauditor? The police are not there for your every beck and call to come up and kiss your ass every time you ask for them. <laughs> my time is not free. I charge by the hour. I've got some lint in my pocket to have. That's at most what your time is worth to me anyway. Speaking of time, I need to save some anyway, because the next few minutes you just ramble on about nothing anyway. Think about it twice, dude. By your job in Jeopardy. <laughs> we all know how this would turn out. You'd turn tail and run out the door like a scared little pansy. Tommy? Tommy. Tommy. I want to talk to you, Tommy. Inside there. Good boy. Good boy, Tommy. This is why the community starts every day to dis disconnect everyone because of First Amendment. That's why they brought they brought Tommy inside to have a meeting with him. If you think they're going to get rid of him just like that, I don't think so. I worked for Walmart for 10 years and I had arguments with managers that were ended up being screaming matches behind closed doors and never got fired. And he works for the post office and I'm sure it's harder to get fired from because a lot more paperwork. But you probably wouldn't know because you've most likely been unemployed your whole adult life. Oh yeah, and let me know in the comments if you want to hear the story about the biggest argument I had with the manager at Walmart. It's rather entertaining, but rather long too. This might be a Karen too. I don't know. This, this might be the Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, they brought Tommy in. <laughs> I 
give to them the yearly. Right. They brought in Tommy there. <laughs> Are you trying to share your love with the unemployment line with other people? Is that why you're trying to get Tommy fired? So he can experience that for himself? And you two can have something to talk about? That has to be your plan. It must be an unrequited love. You want to separate him from his job so he can be more easily accessible. That's it. That's the whole thing. But something tells me Tommy doesn't swing that way. So you go to work. Tommy is out of the closet. There we go. Tommy's out. No, Tommy's not the one out of the closet. At least I don't think he is. But you, on the other hand, your obsession with Tommy makes me think that you want to get out of the closet because you have some unrequited feelings for him that I need to be expressed. <laughs> They're not going to come here. I know that. You want to talk, Tommy? Richard, I'm so happy. Hold me. Yikes. Don't run away from your feelings. Well, there you have it, folks. He packed up and left before the police showed up, but even if he had an encounter with the police, I doubt they would have done much of anything anyway, because they know who he is, and they know he's a moron. Well, that wraps it up here for me, folks. I will see you on the next video. Have a good day, good night, or whatever. And I thank you very much for watching.